Okay, Mark, uh, tell me your story. Uh, how long have you been out here? What's going on? How you survived? Basically, I've been out here all my life, even though I haven't, in the sense that uh, my name is Mark Alexander. I was born to a family that uh, had eight children, a mother who was raising eight children on $250 a month welfare in Minnesota. We lived in the basement house, didn't even have a first floor. Sometimes eating one piece of white bread with lard and salt on it a day as our meal. And I was designated as the house slave in that I had to do the cook, or the cleaning, the ironing, the scrubbing, etc., 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 while everybody else was out uh, playing baseball, basketball, whatever. So I left home when I was 12 years old for the first time. I left home for a year during the end of the hippie days because I met two hippies on the outside of my hometown in Minnesota and they told me what hitchhiking was. So I thought I'd give it a try. I came back home and my mother said I couldn't stay with the family because the welfare would take her off of the welfare system at that time uh, because they had already excluded my portion of the welfare check. So I left home for good and I spent about two months in every state in the United States over a period of 15 years from north of Fairbanks, Alaska to pre Presque Isle, Maine, to Key West, Florida, even uh, flew over to Hawaii and hitchhiked over there. So I had a great life experience. Then I settled down here in LA and got into the investment arena. Sold, uh, the first project I sold was investment grade diamonds when you could put them in your IRA. I went from that into movies, raising money for independent films. I did pre-IPO or private placement stock. Uh, FCC licenses when they came out for pagers, investors could invest in that. Oil and gas, foreign currencies, uh, etc., etc. Well, about a year ago, uh, my conscience got the best of me, and I was working for an oil and gas company in Beverly Hills. And I got tired of them saying on film and in writing that they were promising 29% annual rate of return. My clients weren't even seeing 1%. So I decided not to bring any more new clients in until they got everything squared away. Well, unfortunately, a lot of things happened at one time, financially and otherwise, that put me into a downward spiral where I ended up being evicted from my apartment last year in December by a family that owns 28 apartment buildings, the Einsteins in Beverly Hills, and have been with them for about 15 years, but I was eight days late on my rent. And to be with them for 15 years, I must have paid every month. But unfortunately, the sons had taken over and they were pretty greedy, and they wanted me out to raise the price of the apartment, and they got me out. So unfortunately, uh, that started my on the street experience. And then I had paid for my storage where I put everything in, went up to Rapid City, South Dakota to see three brothers who I hadn't seen in 20 some years. The rest of them are in Minnesota yet, and I hadn't seen them in 20 some years as well. Thinking that my youngest brother who has a construction, small construction uh, gig, I could go to work with him, but this spring they had floods in the Midwest, and particularly in South Dakota and we couldn't get any work done whatsoever. So I came back out here. I was going to go into my storage and sell a bunch of stuff. I came back out here on 11th of June this year, 2008, and I thought they locked the storage on the 15th of the month before they keep you out because I had paid May, but I hadn't paid June yet, and I was going to get in there and sell a bunch of stuff and get, get an apartment and everything else because I have hundreds, you know, I don't know how much I had, but a lot of stuff in there, including all my writings. I've written 10,000 pages or more over the past few years, including a book to my daughter who I haven't seen in nine years in London, England, who is 15 years old next, or in January. And I was doing a leather-bound, beautiful book about my history and her history and so forth. But anyway, I get out here, and the storage is locked up, and I couldn't get in. So... 
uh, I end up on the street and with a lot of promises but nothing came through I lost my storage as well and uh, it is just auctioned off last month everything I've ever produced created owned uh, whatever I've lost in that storage and, uh, uh, <laughs> that was a crushing blow but the biggest crushing blow was that I found my daughter on the internet and there was a site called Spokeo and um, she hadn't written to me in many many months and a couple years ago I got pissed off and, and her mother had stolen all my money or most of it at the time and most of my things and my daughter and she claimed that my daughter wasn't writing because she was the top student in her school and she was studying all the time, which I thought was a bunch of hogwash. I wrote back and said, can you imagine me telling my mother at your age, she was 11 at the time, that Ma, I can't talk to you, I'm too busy studying, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, I didn't put it in that nice of a language, but um, anyway, I went on to the site and I found out my daughter has been doing drugs since she was 11 years old. She doesn't even read and never has read a book. She is not the top of her class, and I saw 100 friends on a uh, friend star of hers that they talk about doing ecstasy and all this other crap together and having sex together at that age. So it wasn't a very good year for me. And right now, uh, I, the only healing, the only way I healed myself was by writing because I was about to take a nosedive emotionally through all this stuff. But I wrote and uh, got it out of my system and now I'm waiting for the election. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with the markets, especially uh, the, 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 the investment markets. Um, maybe I'll get back into that business, I don't know. I don't think I can. I, don't, I think we're in a shitload of hurt here for the next, uh, Bush says five years, oh, we'll be okay, but it's gonna take 10 years just to pay off the interest on the Chinese debt alone. Uh, so I don't think we're in a very good disposition um, in this country. And if we stay in Iraq any longer, then hell, we might as well just fold up this country because uh, it's costing us so much money that uh, they don't even have facilities for me because I don't do drugs. I don't have mental problems except the normal life emotional problems that you're not supposed to have, by the way, because they've addressed me in the park and I wasn't crying, I wasn't raging or whatever, but they come up to you and they politely ask, do you have any emotional problems? Well, of course we all do. But what they want you to do is to get into their programs so that they can participate in the drug companies, the pushing of their drugs across to the American public and get you hooked on and sold off to whatever the hell they prescribe, which I have never taken a drug since I was 17 years old because during the hippie days, I studied alternative health. And the only thing I've ever taken is a few Advil every now and then for a headache. But uh, I, I, I don't even think I've been to a doctor except for a nose operation, which was never fixed. We, and, we only have about a okay. minute left. Gotcha. Um, and you said you've been out here for about four months. How, yeah. do, you, how do you survive? Well, I um, got uh, GR food stamps. They won't give me the money because I don't go to their BS grow meetings because I can't walk four hours a day with this trolley and they won't let me take it on the bus. So um, I've been working selling Obama pins here, or not selling, but setting up the Obama bin uh, stand here on the promenade. And then occasionally I'll even sell. Uh, believe it or not, they buy from me dressed like this. Um, one day I sold $130 worth, but I make about 10 bucks to 20 bucks a day, which uh, is going to end soon. It's been going on for a couple months. You got thir you 30 seconds. Okay. How would you like to close? This uh, is your story. I have very little faith in the, my own destiny based on what's... If the world isn't functioning, the United States is not functioning, I cannot function. So I will not cause anarchy, but I think we're headed for some very terrible times ahead. And uh, I'm just going to react as best as I can in a healthy, wholesome manner. And if, if I can't, uh, hey... I've had to protect my life several times here in in the park and in the alleys, so maybe I'll have to do that on a constant basis. I don't know. Thank you very much.